Hello and welcome to another video. This one is, and I think I'm going to pronounce this right, the Neolock Inquisitor. Now, this one is a kit that you can buy, or you can buy it pre-assembled. I bought it as a kit. Bought this last year, uh, 2017, 2016, at the Texas Pinball Festival, and soldered it together in my booth while, you know, it was a bit slow. This one has some different blades that you can put in it. Now, the blade that I have in here right now is a 6821 PIA blade. And I upgraded the pick chip on it, so now not only will it test the 6820, 6821 PIAs, as well as the 6520 and the 6521s, but you can now also do the uh, 6532 riot chips. And they make different ones for it. So there's one that'll plug in here that will allow you to test uh, 4116 and 4096, you know, the 4K and 16K DRAM chips, as well as testing a, a variety of different SRAM chips. So all you do is unplug this module from the back, this one, and plug in a replacement one to check the other functions. And this thing does some really cool things. So with testing the Riot chips, that was a new thing. I asked them if they, you know, hey, can you test Riot chips? And next thing you know, boom, they brought that out. A very responsive company. I, I like their products. They work really well. And you just push the button, and it goes through, and it tests the functions of the chip. And it'll let you know, hey, this one's okay. Yeah. If you have multiples, you just keep putting them in one after the other. The little light will turn orange over here, and then when it turns green, it's done. When it turns red, it's bad. So in this case, we have a bad one. So the LED's red to let you know, and it tells you that it's bad on the screen. Now if you're doing the 6520, 6521, the 6820, 6821 PIA chips, It'll also do the 6822, even though it's not listed. That's the industrial PIA. You'll find those on uh, some of the keyboard connections on Tandy Color Computers. Now, with that one, it will test it just fine. Uh, if you have the need to test a lot of chips, this thing is great. So if you have something that you're working on, say a Williams board, like a Defender or Joust or something with a lot of different RAM chips, you know, those those. Dynamic RAMs are pain because they, they take three different voltage levels. This will create all the voltage levels for it and allow you to test them. And uh, let me get my trusty little screwdriver here, you know, little bent screwdriver. Uh, I make these in the shop. Just take these pocket screwdrivers. This one is one from Tanner Electronics. If you're ever around the Dallas Fort Worth area, they're the local electronics crack dealer, I mean, parts dealer. And you heat them up with the torch until they just turn pliable, the, the metal turns plastic, and then you can bend it down into place. And, and this works great for taking IC chips up and out of sockets. Works great. You can lift them up and out without having to worry about bending pins and other things. So let's turn on our handy tester here. And we see it's the 4116 blade. It wants you to select which type it is. Is it the 4116 or the 4027 slash 4096? And then we're going to put it in here, and we're going to take it and, uh, let me see here, put pin 1 all the way to the left. Let's rotate it around and get it in the right way. And then we'll close it up, hit the uh, test button, and wait. The light turns orange. It's going to run a pass through. In this case, there's 18 different tests that it's going to run. We wait and pause for just a little bit, and it'll let us know what the final score is. And there we go. DRAM's okay. Now if we keep going over, we can go over here and tell it to do a long test or a short test. You know, what's our LED going to indicate for us? So they give you a few options there as well. It's a, it's a really nice tester. It's not very expensive. I think I paid around $100 for this with a couple of the blades. And then I paid another, oh shoot, 30 or 40 bucks. I forget how much for the kit for the 4116. And got them in, in uh, short order built them not a problem building them they, they go together very easy uh, the only thing that uh, i'll tell you to watch out for is the polarity on your leds uh, those those are the only ones that are a little tricky when it comes to uh, getting those installed other than that everything just fits one way and works and with that i i just go buy one if you're going to do repairs and you need to test static rams you need to test pia chips you need to test the dynamic rams it's hard to find testers that are going to test those 4116s and 4027s, those 
one to take the plus 12, the plus 5, and the minus 5 volts. And it's hard to find something to test the Riot chips and the PIA chips. I mean, you could put them in an Atari 2600 and run some joysticks with them and check some functionality that way. Or you could take and put them in a pinball game and, and check some functionality that way. But if you're putting a 6821 in a pinball game, it's not going to check every function, and there are a lot of functions that this will test for 6821s. It'll test all the different functions that are listed in the data sheet, the different modes that you can put it in. So, works great. Two thumbs up. And I hope you enjoyed.